Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Swetana in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily export your images without having them change in color. So for those that are always having issues regarding their photos changing in color when you post them or print them out after editing in Photoshop, this is a tutorial for you. So I'm just going to be teaching you how you can easily export images that won't have the issue of changing color when you post them on social media or when you print them out then as a bonus we're going to be learning how you can easily save sharp images and also how you can easily turn down or reduce on the size of the image so that you don't have to send very large files to your clients so without further ado let's get started and if i told you haven't hit the like button make sure to hit the like button on this video because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there so right now we're in photoshop and i'm using adobe photoshop 2020 so the right way to save the images if i told you you're not saving a psd file so if i told you you're saving a psd file you can simply come to file and come to save as so since we want to save it as a jpeg file you are simply going to come right here to file export and come to export as so when you come to export as basically it's going to open up the export as window so in the export as window you can see we have various options in this case so this on the very left hand side we have the image name and the image size on the extreme left hand side right here then right here we have the file settings and these are the most important tools for exporting your images so like i said this tutorial is focusing on exporting jpeg files with the best quality and a very sharp image that won't change in color so right here we have the preview and the preview is our image or the photo that we want to export so like i said the image name is going to be here and the size is right here which is 9.3 megabytes so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the format and i make sure i select jpeg because this is supported by most printers and most social media platforms out there and the quality of course would want the best quality out of the image which is a hundred percent then when it comes to image size basically this is where you can upscale or reduce on the size of your image so when it comes to the scale you can reduce on the size of the image right here by coming and turning down the scale of your image so if at all i wanted to reduce on the size of this image i could just come and simply click left click on a drop down and i select 50 percent so this image is going to be reduced in a scale of 50 percent and the size is going to be reducing right here so let me just wait for that to load and you're going to be noticing that so you can see previously we had 9.3 megabytes but since we have turned it down to 50 percent this size is going to reduce and you can see from 9.3 is now 2.4 megabytes so you can turn down the size or how big the file size is by coming to scale and reducing it to the one of your liking so for my case i'm just going to leave mine all the way to 100 percent then when it comes to resample since we want a sharp image after saving it are just going to come to resample and simply select by cubic sharper so what photoshop is going to do is going to add a little bit of sharpening to the image in the process of saving it so it is like when you're exporting images from lightroom after doing adjustments we have the option that is sharpen for screen so this is going to be almost the same thing so resample for me sure you select by cubic sharper right here and of course we have to leave the canvas the way it is unless you want to alter that but usually i wouldn't tamper with the width and height of the image or even the canvas size so you can as well add copyright information to the image by turning this on but i'm just going to leave it at none so when it comes to those having issues regarding the photos changing in color when you post or print them out simply come to color space and usually most printers are going to be supporting srgb but sometimes when you send a photo to the client the photo may change in color due to the differences between the display systems or maybe the websites so basically what we want to do we want to embed the color profile remember sometimes when you're color grading the image 
Photoshop may alter the color space of an image depending on the editing software as we use to edit or color grade. So make sure you convert it to sRGB and also embed color profile. And this way, the image is going to be having the richer colors that were embedded in it as you're trying to edit or color grade it. So after doing all this and you're satisfied with the settings right here, you can come and simply click on export and you choose where you want to save the image and simply click on save. So this is how you can easily save an image so that it doesn't change in color and you're going to be having a very sharp image or you can even resize the image by simply coming to the scale and playing around with this to have a smaller file size. So this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.